that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of, of David, which is called Bethlehem. Why are you traveling alone? I don't know. He just said Joseph. <laughs> Because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, trying not to work on my with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. Oh, I'm supposed to give birth now? <laughs> and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, an angel of the Lord came unto them. Angel of the Lord came unto them. Yeah. And the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. <gasps> and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, uh, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And there shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Okay, we want to hear that now, guys. <laughs> peace on earth, good will to men. Good. It came to pass as the angels were gone away from them <laughs> unto heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. We're all lying in the manger. <laughs> they found the babe lying in the manger. Seen, uh, okay. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that were uh, that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things which they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Bye-bye. 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 I'd rather keep going. And when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king. Herod the king. Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. <coughs> Don't run over the sheep. Why is it, why, why is it only two wise men? Is there only one wise man now? You're like one Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. He fell behind. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 the desert with the pirates go. <laughs> <laughs> are we supposed to talk to them? No, we're talking to Herod. Oh, that is. Saying, uh, so the wise men came to Herod, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. And her, uh, when Herod heard, the, when the, Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and he said unto them, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets. Um, then Herod, uh, 
And then he sent them to Abraham. Uh, then he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, "Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring the word to me, and I may come and worship him also." And when they heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him <coughs> gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. <laughs> And being warned of God in dream that you should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Another way. We're going to exit out that door. Which is my Chugs the frankincense. <laughs> <laughs> I know this would be baby. Uh, okay, when they had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee to Egypt. Uh, and when he arose, Joseph, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed unto Egypt. Let's go. <laughs> Quick scram. Come on, donkey, let's go. Forget the donkey. <laughs> there you go. Wait, these are valuable. That's how you paid for your trip. Yep. Yay! Yay.